Hello, I'm Sinead and welcome. Uh, today I want to work on Granny's walking stick and um, I'm actually really excited to be getting a whole lot of stuff done for Granny's to accessorize, to outfit, that sort of thing. And um, so it's, and I, I want to get it all done right now. <laughs> and that's just not possible. So anyway, I'm trying to focus today on the walking stick. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. So here's the base and it's copper wire and this is uncoated copper wire. So it will develop a patina unless um, whoever gets it wants to take it out and spray it with some kind of sealant. Um, I don't want to, so <laughs> uh, developing a patina would be part of the fun of this. The um, This is a recycled uh, mouse ball, actually. Um, it had, the ball was in the top for some reason. I don't know. It was a different kind of mouse, uh, computer mouse. And uh, I just let it look cool when the it didn't wasn't working anymore. I kept it so that I could do something like this with it. And that's always fun when you see something that looks really cool and you finally get to use it in a project like this. So I am going to apply paper clay on here to make this look more like a branch, uh, a stout wooden branch. I'm putting the uh, masking tape on to help the paper clay stick. It doesn't really like sticking to the um, copper. So we want to make this look like a wooden walking stick, like a, a branch. And uh, this is a, it's a way to help with that um, combining the metal and the paper clay. A little channeling of my grandmother. I'm wearing one of her rings. <laughs> so the, um, weather has been, for us, uh, toasty, but I mean, actually kind of cool for the rest of the U.S., uh, from what I hear. There's been, of course, the usual um, heat waves and rain. And summer's challenging. I think um, England's wetter than, than usual for July, and There's a lot of places in the U.S. that are just over 100 Fahrenheit, just crazy hot. Uh, we got warm here, um, I think 80, yesterday was 85 Fahrenheit, which is unusually warm for us. We have, we hit 90 occasionally, but it's not the usual. I am feeling air bubbles, air pockets developing as I try to get this on here, <laughs> which is what I, you know, the tape is supposed to help with that. But I think, I think we're, we're having a little challenge on that side of things. So are you on fire or is it extra cold and wet? And what projects are you working on, if any? What is your, or do you just like to read a book? <laughs> Watch reels? <laughs> What's your thing? I've been doing a lot of sewing by hand. Um, I chose to um, use a rayon jersey for a lot of Granny's um, outfit. And uh, my machine just does not do um, Jersey well. It, it chews it, it makes it just seriously a mess. So um, I end up doing all of that by hand. 
and you know it just it just means that it takes longer and well and it probably means that uh, it's a slightly better result because I've taken you know more time over it paid closer attention than just running it through um, there's there's a lot of elements there that that make it you know just slightly better um, I did do her bloomers with the machine which was you know quick do that up and go hmm I want to change that <laughs> not the not the sewing uh, you'll have to watch the video um, on Friday so I am trying to get a broader um, point down here maybe that's not a good idea I was kind of hoping it would help with the balance um, because uh, I will find and include a stand for her, but my hope was that she could stand without one. And um, part of that is having her third point, point of balance be this walking stick. And um, so I, I was noticing that uh, the copper point when I stood her up, she, which I did get her to stand up using it, um, did have a very limited um, point of, of uh, balance. It wanted to slip. So, you know, I had to get it just right. And so I think, I'm hoping that this will create a uh, an easier balance point, an easier stop point. I actually think I'm going to have to stop and let this set up and then come back to it. So we're going to pause. Well, we're still not dry here, but I think we're going to try and go ahead and add some. May end up having to stop, start again. Sounds like a massive about a rumbling in the background um don't know if you can hear that but it is well not stopped so <laughs> action so i while i was waiting on this to dry i went and did went and did some laundry It is cooler today than it was yesterday by about 10 degrees, which is like amazingly cool. But I'll tell you what, I really appreciate the the heat when it does get here because of how much faster things like the laundry dry. Maybe one day we'll have uh, enough power to support a dryer, but right now, new. No. <laughs> well, it looks like looks like we're having some of the same issues up here as before I don't know how I got off on the thought because, you know, the mind wanders. But while I was doing the laundry, I was remembering that uh, back in the day, um, I'd had some developed the issues with polyester and right after having just redecorated my bedroom. And so I just bought a bunch of polyester, poly, you know, the polyester fiber fill pillows and, uh, how frustrating the the need to change and not have those yeah, sleeping on a polyester fiber fill uh, pillow will give me a migraine and that's weird but I'm just glad I figured out to just move the pillow <laughs> 
Oh, we're popping apart again. Right in here. So, what I may have to do is wait till tomorrow to finish this. Yeah, we're popping off every place that I'm putting it on. Okay, we'll wait till tomorrow. Sometimes I go at this with sandpaper afterwards, and sometimes it's just adding more clay. You know, when I couldn't work on this yesterday, I went and worked on um, Granny's outfit, which will uh, be in video hopefully on Friday. And when I finished with the garment, I was looking at it and going, this is not what, this isn't quite what I had in mind. And I moved away from it, you know, like I just decided to leave it. I didn't try and do anything drastic to change it or, you know, throw my hands in the air and go start over. I just put it down. Said, hmm, not what I had in mind. What, uh, where did I go wrong and what would need to be changed to get to the my vision? And then I just kind of stopped thinking about it and got up this morning, was thinking, well, I'm probably going to have to start over. It's not right. And then I picked her up, adjusted the garment to the vision, and it went there, and I saw what I needed to change was going to be a lot easier and it didn't it didn't bother me you know like it's like no you don't have to start over <laughs> all you needed to do was walk away for a second so that was cool because you know I'd, I'd rather not have to make it twice not that making it twice is a bad thing at all. Sometimes it's exactly what you need to do. Just realize that's not wet. I keep thinking too that with making these different dolls, you know, it's really cool to do something unique each time. But, um, it would be kind of nice if I could come up with a standard size body so that I didn't have to redesign everything every time just to be able to um, 
I don't know, use the same size pattern so that it's, it's uh, easier to have a starting point, which is, you know, when you're, when uh, artists are making like the BJDs and whatnot, they often do that where they've got the same size body going for several different dolls so that their shoes and their clothes are interchangeable and collectors like that. I like that and would kind of like to, um, are we sitting that on anything, uh, be able to come up with something that was easier for me to repeat. And I think we're going to put this on a fast forward here. Or we aren't going to get to the end. I turned off the recording to go get this piece of cardstock and forgot to turn it back on. Um, so you'll have a bit of sped up, sped up there. I took this one off and formed it here and we'll try and glue it back on. Should probably smooth up the spot where it's gonna be glued back on. But, um, and have added the um, knot there and going to continue to try and get texture in down here without messing it up too much. Anyway, it's it's reminding me or making me think of a mesquite tree. I don't know. They're really, I don't know how many people are familiar with them. I actually uh, spent very little time around mesquite trees up close and personal. Um, where I lived in Texas, we didn't, well, in the one place, it was mostly nothing. And we had uh, some pine trees and uh, I think an oak that died. And in the other house I lived in, the backyard was full of oak trees. So um, didn't didn't spend a lot of time in areas with mesquites, but I remember visiting Dinosaur Valley and there were a lot of mesquites there and I thought they were fascinating because they're so uh, curvy and they have so much personality, so many knots and they're short. I mean, con in comparison to the, the, a lot of other trees, they're just really short and scrubby. So that's kind of, um, it turns out that a lot of my family, well, they're all from the south until you get back to like 1600 or something um there's one guy from the north <laughs> anyway uh, uh my grandfather was a texan on my mother's side and there's a i think my grandmother was born in oklahoma so 
And then before that, there's a lot of people from Arkansas. So I have a lot of uh, family history in areas that would have had the skeet trees, I guess. Or maybe I'm just focusing in on the one Texan. Because obviously he, he didn't just spawn in Texas. He had family <laughs> that had been there for a while. And all the time that I lived in Texas, I thought, I'm a Washingtonian. I'm not from this state. Turned out I was. I mean, ancestrally. Okay. Um, I like that one. Hopefully I can get the cardboard out of there without damaging it. And, and then hopefully I can get this one glued back on. Like I said, I need to create a flat spot there. So that gluing it back on isn't such a trial. <laughs> the knot's pretty cool too. I ho hope you enjoyed watching the process of uh, the walking stick and um, be sure to check out last Friday's video on the second stage of building the dollhouse and this Friday's video will be about more on granny and all those um, clothes and accessories that I'm trying to get made for her and hopefully you know we, I will have made a, a big chunk of progress <laughs> But be sure to check it out and see what what has uh, happened and, and where we're going with this. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.